groups, the stories. We, we are all, all so similar. A story that my grandparents told was when they arrived in Canada in 1929. They had nothing, five children. And a farmer gave them a wagon load of turnips, a wagon load of turnips. That's what our family existed on the first winter in Canada. But by standing together, working hard, and believing in Canada, believing that this is probably one of the best countries in the world, clearly, clearly, where opportunity does exist, democracy. And I admire, and I admire what, what you're doing with the the opening up with the in interfaith discussions. And I, and I was recently with President of the Room from the PCA. Um, we were at the Surrey Arts Building. And there was many different speakers there. Communication. That is the bridge to our future. And as I say to many of my people, and especially my staff and my family, please, please forgive me, but there is one course that I failed when I was in school. I failed it miserably, and it's called mind reading. Now, maybe some of you guys graduated with a diploma in mind reading, but I failed miserably. So. I can't read your mind. If you can read mine, oh my God, tell me, tell me the secret. So if we can't read each other's mind, then the only way to get to each other's heart and soul is through communication. Speaking and listening, sharing and caring. And as my mother said to me as a child, she said, son, never speak to anybody in a voice, in a tone, and using words that you would not like to spoken to you. If you wouldn't like it, don't say it to somebody else. So, these are some of the things that, that I try to live my, my, my life by. Sharing is caring. I see no color. I see no color and I see no gender. As Hearn said, I'm, I'm in the business of building supplies. I have over 300 employees. Um, in the Lower Mainland, if you see the, the sign Standard Building Supplies, that's part of Bruce Keeler. If you're in Langley and Alder Grove and you see Country Lumber, that's part of Bruce Keeler. Chilliwack, Canucks Building Supplies. If you go to the Okanagan, Vernon and Enderby, Central Hardware. If you go to the North End of Vancouver Island, Port Hardy Building Supplies. But we, we have enjoyed, and I have enjoyed, a huge amount of success, but it's been clearly through the support of people like yourself that believe in me and believe that by that as a community and as a people, if we stand together and we hold hands and we work together and we look out for each other, we are each other's eyes and ears. We need to stand together. So, the, 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 big, the big mystery is uh, you know, the communication. Clearly, clearly reaching, and I, and I admire what, what, what you're doing and how you're trying. And uh, as I say, this is my, my second visit. Um, there will be more. Uh, 
I've been to Pakistan twice. I've traveled th through um, a number of the cities, Hyderabad, Karachi, Lahore. We've got many projects going, building the villages, We've got water treatment plants, India, but Russia, Pakistan, Cambodia. And, uh, but one of, one of the things, folks, that, he, that I, it, 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 it puzzles me. It puzzles me, and when we, when we, when, when we, when we talk about how do we, how do we make a better life? Because every single one of us is here in Canada as Canadians. We are all Canadians. How do we leave behind the the problems? The issues, the religious issues, the what, whatever it is, how do we leave behind the bad? What caused us to immigrate to Canada, but to cherish and keep the good? What made us good? Your cultures. There's so many good things that every single person from every single country and every religion and every walk of life. There are so many good things. But what divides us is we bring too much baggage from the old country. That needs to be flushed down the toilet. We are here, this is a new start, a fresh start. Take the good, bring the good, and the rest of it, leave it behind. Let them fight it out back home. Folks, I don't know. I'm kind of rambling here, silly old man. But um, it's a, it is truly a great honor, and I'm, and as Arun said, um, my uh, on behalf of Team Canix, my partners, um, we are proud to make a donation that hopefully will uh, assist in uh, some of the needs of the, of the mosque. And Brother Arun. <laughs> Let it be.